This is Searching for Truth. Today's video I just wanted to make concerning chemicals that have been making their way into our food, which I'm sure a lot of you already know about. Um, I just got through watching a video by A Call for an Uprising, and um, he did a really good one on fast food. I know that you know a good majority of you folks probably don't eat fast food, or at least try not to, but sometimes every now and again I understand that you know we all might eat it. You know, you you would be out on a road trip and you know that's that's all you got. It's the only option you have, or you're at the airport and you didn't bring food. Um, well anyway, so this one is from the Washington Post. It says researchers find another reason to avoid fast food chemicals in the packaging. Not just in the food, but in the packaging, guys. Um, chemicals that have been associated with cancer and other health problems have, found, have been found in some fast food packaging, according to a new study. Researchers found the substances which can leach into food in sandwich and dessert wrappers and paperboard containers. So basically what they're saying is, not only are the chemicals in the food that we eat, but they're also in the wrapping that is wrapping up the food. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever really tasted like uh, a Coke or something like that that kind of has a weird twang to it because it's in a plastic bottle. You're, you're drinking chemicals, guys. They're dousing us with chemicals from the air, in our water, in our food. That's why I've made you know certain videos about getting back to the basics, learning how to farm, Growing your own food. Having a well installed. Just things like that. Where you can create your own and sustain on your own. Because they made us dependent on them. They made it to where we have to rely on the government for every single thing. We, we have to go to the grocery store to, to get food. Why is that? It's because they made it that way. If you think back a hundred years ago, you know, were they doing that? Were they going down to the, the local grocery store and, and getting food? No, they, they had a garden. They, they killed and slaughtered their own cattle and things like that. I mean, we're in a different time. They've made us, over the years, they've made us more and more dependent on them. And the reason for that is depopulation. Because... If you go read on the Georgia Guidestones, we have to have perpetual balance. And they want only a certain number of us left on Earth. And I say us, I mean them. They don't want any of us left. We outnumber them by millions. They don't want that. They want just them and that nothing else. So they're trying to kill us off. Maybe that sounds crazy. But it's true. Look into it. Look into this whole food wrapping thing. Um, the chemicals, per and polyfluoroalkyl. I'm not real sure what that means, but it, per and polyfluoroalkyl substances, or PFAs, are used in non-stick, stain-resistant, and waterproof products. Fast food packaging manufacturers might use them to keep sauces or grease from leaking through the wrapper. Consumers are also exposed to them in other products such as certain types of cookware, coats, and carpets. Some of the substances in this category are associated with kidney and testicular cancer, low birth weight, thyroid disease, and immunotoxicity in children, among other outcomes. They're, ca they're giving us cancer, guys. They're, they're giving us cancer. They're giving us diseases. That's their goal. They have cures for these things, but the only reason that we even have this kind of stuff going on is because they're they're killing us off, guys. So my advice to you, do some research, look into this. Don't take my word for it, but I mean, hopefully this will open some of your ears up and make you think, okay, maybe I should go check into it for myself. That's what I want you guys to do. I don't want you just to believe me because I said it. Take what I say, go look it up. I'm looking it up, you know, I'm learning more and more every day. We all have to do that. We all have to stay vigilant. We have to keep our eyes open and pay attention to what's going on around us 
because if we don't and we let them get the upper hand in any way, which they already have mostly, then we're all going to die off, guys. We have to band together. We have to stay strong, and we have to win this battle. I don't know if most of you know that this is a battle, but it is. If we could band together, united we stand, divided we fall. They're dividing us. If you think about that, uh, I'm not even real sure on it. I haven't looked into it much, but the crap about Nike. That's just to divide the country. It's silly. It makes no sense. And it, it doesn't, there's no reason for people to be fighting over shoes. Who cares? Anyway, that's all I really got for you today. Thanks for taking the time. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. And leave any comments below. Thanks.